Anger, our sign language interpreter is Damien Evans. Our top story and President William Ruto has assured Kenyans that his administration is making progress in delivering its commitments to transform the country. In his Easter message to Kenyans, the head of state said that there is an opportunity to set things right and to get the country going at the right place and in the right direction, urging Kenyans to embrace the opportunity. At the same time, in his Easter wishes, opposition leader Raila Odinga has also called on Kenyans to seize opportunities out of the challenges that they continue to grapple with, top among them weakened economic growth, as well as a hostile political environment. David Muthoka starts our bulletin with that story. To the people of Kenya and all our friends throughout the world. The head of state delivered his Easter message to Kenyans from State House Nairobi. He solemnly commemorate an extraordinarily intense moment. In a three minute long address that comes amid tough economic times as well as a fragile political environment, President William Ruto assured Kenyans of brighter and better days ahead. According to the president, his administration had made progress in remedying the situation seven months into office. Kenya has, over the recent past, endured its share of difficulties and struggles, weakened economic growth, depleted resources, debt and drought amidst political disagreement. Nevertheless, we have been given the divine gift of an opportunity to set things right and to get the country going at the right pace, in the right direction. At the same time, opposition leader Raila Odinga, who only four days ago called off the planned bi-weekly demonstrations against President William Ruto's government after two weeks of mass action, also acknowledged the tough situation but asked Kenyans to make lemonade out of the lemons. In a statement, Odinga said, and I quote, It's my hope that this Easter and the many more to follow, we can learn to seize opportunities out of our challenges like Jesus did. It is also my hope that we can continue promising ourselves to always follow what he preached, which is summarized as courage in the middle of terror, hope in the middle of hopelessness, humility in spite of power, grace, mercy, love and peace. The reconciliatory messages from President Ruto and Odinga come barely days after the two fiercest of rivals agreed to a truce, paving the way for bipartisan talks to iron out issues raised by the opposition and which had led to two weeks of demonstrations. The talks are expected to gain further momentum next week Tuesday when the government will unveil its lineup of leaders who will sit in an ad hoc committee also comprising of leaders in the opposition to establish some middle ground. At least kwa sababu kumefunguka kuna mlango wa saa hii kuzungumza. Waende wakazungumza wakiwa na nia ya wa Kenya. Waende wazungumze yale matokeo yatakayotokea pale yawe ni matokeo ambayo itaenda kufaidi inji yetu itaenda kupeleka inji yetu Kenya mbele iende kuleta uweano uhusiano mwema uh, baina ya wananchi wote wa taifa letu la Kenya the opposition picked its negotiators on Thursday David Muthoka KTN News Nairobi Thank you, David, for that. Let's take you to the Good Friday uh, 